Hello and thanks again for joining me for another episode of Kenshi with my Freedom Seekers Skeletons Only run. Uh, we are on Vanilla Kenshi. Now in the last episode, uh, after taking uh, taking Burn back home, we assembled a team with uh, Burn and Sad Neil and Old Rust. Set them on a trip back to uh, back to Flats Lagoon. And did have to fight a couple of thrall on the way. There were way too many. Managed to take down a couple, but kept running. Eventually got back to Flats Lagoon. Met up with Oils, who has been running our little tanning operation. And we uh, sold a bunch of a bunch of our homemade repair kits. Made a ton of cats. Then uh, headed back to our little outpost. Uh, with some engineering tech that we had bought here previously and left it here. And while there, I decided that uh, we'd use our two AI cores to uh, to upgrade to the automated ore mines. And I got an extra one of them built. Which brings us to where we are here. So we brought old Russ, Sad, Neil and Burn back here again. Uh, loaded up with a bunch of stuff, a um, bunch of building supplies and things, and oils, who has been here just tanning on autopilot. Um, let's just pause him for a minute, pull that out, pop that in there. Uh, he's been quite busy it's done all of this leather on autopilot all of this food I don't know if anyone's buying it that dude buying some well he just bought some bandages um, but anyway uh, what we're gonna do I'm actually gonna I'm gonna take him off of that and off of all of this and we are going to, uh, let's just see, fill up his bag with skins there. Uh, let's turn your job off so you don't put them straight back in there like you just did. Take those out. Uh, we'll take... your inventory open, take as many more as we can, uh, let's see, pop that up there, we can fit another one, uh, sad Neil, burn can possibly fit a few in here, Actually, let's bring all of these guys now. Okay. So, there was an update a couple of days ago, and ever since then, sometimes when I load back in, my guy's run speed is set back to, uh, to walk speed for some reason. All right. So, let's see. Let's see if we can fit a few of these in there. Uh, these guys are already weighed down quite a bit I suppose this doesn't weigh that much uh, let's see if we can fit another one sad Neil you can load up alright uh, old rust I suppose you can take the rest uh, okay all right so we've got our little team assembled and what we're going to do today we're going to go find another recruit now I did get a comment down in the comments below mentioning that the swamp 
is a really good place to find skeletons. Uh, being a skeletons only run, we're only hiring skeletons. No non-skeletons, no animals. Um, so we will check out the swamp at some stage. Um, but today, I have scouted ahead and I do know that there is a skeleton drifter sitting here in Morn. Um, so we are going to head over there now. There is a little trick which you can do. If you have not been to an area, its population hasn't loaded. Right, so you need to do this before you've ever been there. Um, so you want to start off, and I've, I've already done this, I've already been there, uh, but I will show you. So you go into your options, make sure you turn off your auto save. You can turn it back on later, that's fine. And, but the most important thing is that you haven't already been there, or even to the area. So we're going to select everybody in the party here, and we are going to, actually I'm just going to, I'm going to bring them across now. I haven't tried this in other locations. I have tested a few times in this location. It's going to help you get skeleton recruits. It's not 100%. You'll need to do it a few times possibly. Um, so I moved them across just to help with their auto auto path finding. Otherwise they want to do all funny sort of swimming. So we're going to head them over there. And so we're currently in Flats Lagoon. Once we sort of get up closer to the water, we're going to be... Uh, moving into a different area. So right about here, you want to press F5 and you'll see saving. So do a quick save there. And continue on. Because as of yet, and they always want to swim. Go the easy way, guys. Alright. So uh, we'll head them on over there. And now that we're getting into the area, it's and the little loading screen, it's it's actually populating the town. Well, I've already been there, so my town's already populated. Now these guys are moving slow because they're they're encumbered a fair bit. Uh, what do you just stop for, guys? Please. Okay. Pathfinding is a bit on the tricky side, but. Uh, this is where we're heading over here. Uh, we want to bring him in this end up here. And so we'll check in the pub and check for any anyone walking around. I'm not going to show you here because I've already done it, but I may do a separate tri tricks and tips video. So we'll come down here. We've got a bar here. And we're going to go into the bar. And we do have a skeleton friend here. Now, if there's not one here, uh, you can hang out in the bar. You'll see NPCs walking around all over the place. Maybe pause so that they stop moving around and just go check every single one of them. Because if they're not in the bar, they may be just walking around. But there's not always a skeleton here. And uh, if there's not, get here and there's not, then reload your quick save. And then when you enter into the area again for the first time, it'll repopulate again. And so you'll have different, uh, different drifters here. And it may take quite a few reloads before you get a skeleton, but eventually you should get one. So anyway, we are going to hire this guy. And I'm just going to leave his name as Bean Hop. He's 3,000. Um, he's going to have terrible stats. But he is a skeleton. Alright, let's uh, bring these guys out here. 
Okay. Uh, so. He has horrible stats. But. That's what we get to work with. Um, okay. So. He can have this bag here. He can have that weapon. Uh, some crossbow bolts. Give him that. Uh, let me see. We can have this. And a crossbow. One of these. Okay. Now these guys. Have a bunch of gear on them. I'm just going to give some stuff to Old Rust. I guess we'll give a few bits and pieces to Bean Hop. Oh, well, he already had some in the bag I gave him. Okay. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to buy this building here. I'm um, also going to buy this building. Now, a thing to note about this town is it produces no power. Okay. And it uses 165 power. That's because it has all of these. There's one there. There's, uh, there's another three over here. All these automated ore mines now we can loot those but that is stealing but anyway they are sucking up power so we need to if we want power ourselves then uh, we need to produce enough power to cover that plus our own so uh, what we're going to do is we are going to, yeah, hopefully I've brought enough supplies with me. Now, unfortunately, we can't build on the roof of this little one. We need rooftop space for our wind generator. I'm going to put this one in here. We're going to need quite a few of these. So we'll get started on three of those. Uh, we are going to want a skin storage. A meat storage. Uh, let me see. Put in a food storage. Uh, we are going to want a leather storage. Uh, we're going to crafting. And we want the leather tanning bench, which I'm going to fit in the corner up here. Like so. Uh, okay. We will get a shop counter and I'm going to just pop that up here. Close as I can get. It's going to be pretty squishy up here. Uh, I'm going to get general storage chest 
And if you've been watching my videos, you know why I'm building everything on the roof here. Yeah, I've got plenty of room underneath, but it's just a lot easier to uh, to deal with stuff, to interact with stuff when it's on the roof. Um, okay. Let's uh, get them started on that. And uh, just going to put everybody on engineer for the moment. Uh, make sure everybody's jobs are on. Let's speed things up. Now, in this town, there are going to be a lot of beak things, skin spiders, uh, a few other, a few other nasties. So. There is going to be a fair bit here to keep these guys busy. So get all this built. Now also, well, I'll do that in a minute. Get this stuff up and running first. Okay, so there's one generator, two generators, so we're making 50 out of the, the 165. All right, so let us get more power. We will put another one here. Squish them up in this corner as much as I can. Get them working on that. Uh, yeah, I, th I think we're going to do a lot better on the skins in here, even though we did pretty good already. And I mean, Oils is already up to 77 armor smithing just from, just from his, his auto tanning venture down in uh, Flats Lagoon. But uh, see now, Bean Hop, I mean, his athletics is too... He's not fast enough to come with us, so I want to leave him here and get him to get a bit of athletics up. All right, so we are still short, so we need at least one more. Pop that there. Yeah. Get that up and running. We're only just going to be over the line. We're probably going to need another one. Let's just check uh, what we've got. So we've still got some electronics. Uh, iron plates. Yep. Okay, so we're only just above... So we will get another one. Get another one up here. Not going to do batteries for the moment just yet. Yeah. While we're doing this, uh, let's see. All right, so now the other thing I want 
We're going to put in a skeleton repair bed. And I'm just going to squeeze that in. We'll just squeeze that in here. That should be fine. Just going to do one. We're not going to be using it for cheesing like we are back at home. Uh, it's just for just for some general maintenance. And did I not bring enough stuff? Uh, we're short one iron plate. All right. Um, okay. Don't need three of those. So you can have, have that on you, uh, bean hop, you don't need all of these, uh, give those to old rust, he's got the bow that uses those, don't need all of these. Old Russ, yep, you can have that. Sad Neil's got one. Uh, oils, you can have a splint. All right, uh, Old Rust, you can have some first aid. So, the only reason we have first aid on us is to, uh, to heal up any guards and stuff around town that are helping us out. Alright, so old rust set up. Sad Neil. Um, you can put an additional storage down here. Uh, for skins with that building material. And I'm just going to pop that in the door there. Um, okay. Got some extra electronics on you. So I need an extra iron plate. All right, now I think usually there's some iron plates in here. Yep, actually grab two. Uh, actually, I'm going to grab three. Three should do us. So get that done and these guys are freaking out a little bit um okay so that was the skin storage we're going to put in another leather storage uh leather takes no, that's not okay that takes an iron plate it's just for overflow really and lastly, we are going to put in an ore storage over here. And I'm just going to shove that in the corner there. Okay, now, yep, we have wildlife out here. So, uh, let's see. Going to take you off, engineer. Uh, I guess oils can stay on engineer. Sad Neil can come off engineer. Um, Going to go into squads. And I'm going to put uh, oils. 
It's sad news. And been hot up here. Uh, what's going on here? All right, I don't know what's happening there with the... Uh, they did something in the last update with the fonts. Um, hang on a sec. Okay, there we go. So they were supposed to have fixed some, some font errors. I tried uh, resizing it. But the only thing I've noticed that it's done is it has made the font in here really tiny. It, uh, okay, so, all right, these guys. These guys. All right, Sad Neil, your job... Your sole job is going to be to look after Bean Hop. Bean Hop's job is going to be looting animals. And can't loot animals. Uh, you are going to. So you can auto hold a skins, auto hold a meat, oils. You are also going to forage animals. Uh, we're going to pop in a campfire. Um, let's see, I suppose, it's... I don't think the campfire really blocks any movement, so your job also is going to be auto-hauling to the campfire, to the food, and then using the tanning, tanning bench. Now, after that, there's nothing to forage, then uh, Bean Hop is going to be mining. So, these guys are already out there doing the foraging. And the reason I'm not putting uh, Sad Neil on anything else is because I don't want him to leave Bean Hop's side. I don't want him to stay mining somewhere or or whatever. Because Bean Hop is very fragile, especially if there's big things. I mean, even I mean, some of these creatures will will even uh, do a fair bit of damage to to Sad Neil. Uh, they are doing quite a bit of foraging already, like uh, both of them, all of them. Uh, now, you should not be aimless, though. Um, to get too far away from home. All right, and we have a slave raid back at our home camp. So let's head on over there. Yep. And these guys sort of mean business, so... I'm going to select all these guys.
jobs off passive hog block and we're just going to cheese through this one sleep 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 And I think, okay, traders might get involved, maybe. All right, let's just uh, check back in on these guys. Okay, so oils. Why are you not doing any of your job? Can you get to this? All right, so he holds stuff into there. Uh, let me see. working now uh, let's try you on the uh, campfire move you out of the way stop for a minute okay what I hold food use tanning bench Alright, look at that. The meat is full already. Um, okay, so we might need another uh, another building material. This guy, I think he has some. Uh, let's get two. Why not? Uh, how is this? That's full as well already. Um, though we did bring some skins with us. Alright, so let's put in some more storage here. Let's put in another meat storage here. And another skin storage. All right. Okay. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, let's check in. Yeah, we've got more, more beak things over here. Uh, so what we will want to do every now and then. So we're going to want to check on these, uh, check on the guards and that that are that are fighting and heal them up. That is uh, quite a considerable amount of big things. Uh, all right, I don't know if we can uh, take this guy on or not. And we uh, save that guard that was getting eaten. Uh, where is he? All right, the big things are out here.
Where's that guard that was getting ripped to pieces here? All right, let's go first aid this guy. Uh, old rust, where are you? Okay. All right. So we've still got, got another one up here. So... Old Rust and Burn are not going to stick around here. Um, we'll fight off a, a couple of waves. The big things over here. Now, yeah, where is Bean Hop? Bean Hop is by himself. That's not great. Uh, oils. How about you go and repair Bean Hop? Can you get over here, please? All right, what's well, sad news on it? It should be. All right. Okay. Uh, where is Burn? All right. Get these guys patched up. And back to foraging again. We're ready. Uh, now what I might do. Let's just grab these guys. Turn off the jobs for a moment. Let's uh, bring them in here. In here, uh, you guys can come in here too. All right, now we've got bandit demands. These guys are still sleeping. All right, you can take a quick snooze, get healed up. And, yep, we're, we've just got enough. Just got enough power. The wind dies down a little bit. We could be in a little bit of trouble. Alright, you're done. You can have a quick patch up. Alright, you're done. Oils. You can uh, have a quick patch up. Okay, you can have a job back on. Sad Neil. Got a little bit of leg damage there. Alright, you can have your job back on. Bean hop. You can have a bit of a snooze. Uh, a tiny bit of toughness up. Uh, let me see. Alright. So. 
the plan is to leave these guys to leave these three here and look at this even more than big things big things and skin spiders fighting it out Uh, all right. Let's uh, patch up any of these guys. Try and keep these guards alive. Splinter's injuries. All right. All right, so these two. Let's bring these guys back inside. Uh, this guy's looking a bit worse for wear. Splint your injuries. And uh, this will also help improve our relations with these guys if we're healing them up. Okay. So let's have a quick assessment of the situation. So 60 in there. 100 in there, that's full. 100 in there. Um, let's have a look here. Alright, so what I'll do... So the game gets confused if you have them uh, set to... Uh, to hold more than one storage so what I will do let's take all of that out and let's pop all that in here some of it all right let's uh, do the same with this let's pop that in the bottom one uh, yeah I'd say this is uh, gonna be way more way more productive than uh, way more productive than a flat lagoon one, but is a little bit more dangerous as well. Uh, let's see. All right, I suppose we can pop that in there. Let's uh, pull this out of here. Pop it in here. All right, back to bean hop. Okay, so, yep. So sometimes, if you uh, if you have them set to hold to more than one container what will happen quite often is that uh, they will be attempting attempting to hold it to one and they'll fill that up and then they'll be carrying it from that one that they filled up and hauling it to the next one so uh, yeah it uh, confuses it confuses things so Sometimes they need a bit of manual interaction. 
This guy here. Do we fix him up? Yeah, it looks like we must have already. Okay, let's have a quick look in the pub, see if anything's changed. See if anybody else has rocked up. So I don't know if uh, if more people show up um, after a while. But I think like once we've saved our game with this population, I think that's the population that it's going to have forever. Um, we will get traders in and out. But anyway, that is going to do it for this episode. So if you did enjoy this video, please leave me a like or a comment down below. If you'd like to see more, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.